Welcome back everybody to part 2 of this simple character creation tutorial. If you missed the first part, don't worry, I got you covered, just click right here and then after you got yourself up to speed, come right back here where you left off. In the first video we've finished our modeling and now all that's left to do is to add a background, add and position a camera, create and apply the materials, add the lighting and render the image. At the very end, as a little bonus tip, uh, I'll also show you how to denoise the rendered image using notes. So let's begin. First, let's add a background object by adding a plane. In edit mode, let's scale it to make it bigger. Now in edge select mode, select the back edge and by pressing EZ, extrude the edge of the Z axis to right about here. Now. Let's bevel this edge by pressing Ctrl B. Move the cursor down to increase the offset and scroll your mouse up and down to add or remove geometry. When you're satisfied, click to confirm. Now let's parent the head and eyes object to the body. To do this, just select both eyes and head and then holding shift, select the body. Notice the body object is now highlighted, which means it's the active selection. Now press Ctrl P. You've just created a parent-child relation, now when you move the body, the rest follows. Let's move it up in front view. Now let's set a camera with Shift A, camera. Now with the camera selected, put yourself in position you want the camera to be and press Ctrl, Alt, 0 on the numpad. That will align the camera to the view. Now for the final adjustment of the frame, go to the view tab and check this lock camera to view. Now you can just navigate to set your camera frame. Ok, this looks fine. Uncheck the checkbox and let's start adding the materials. But first, let's go into material preview shading mode by pressing Z and then 2 on the keyboard or just by clicking here. Then select the background and make it green. Something like this should be fine. Now let's do the same for our character, but we'll make its color something very close to white, like this should be okay. Let's just change the metallic to 0.1 and let's reduce the roughness to 0.3 to make it a bit shinier. And let's apply the same material to the head, like this. Now it's time to add the light. First, let's go into display render preview shading mode by pressing Z and then 8 on the keyboard, or just by clicking here. So Shift A adds a point light. In the light properties panel, we can control the power, which determines the strength of the light source, and size, which controls the outline of the shadow. The bigger the size of the light source, the soft the shadow will be. I like to put my lights very high on the Z axis and uh, with a lot of power. Uh, this way the result is more uniform lighting rather than some areas overexposed and other not receiving enough light. So let's increase the power to 600 kilowatts and set its size to 10,000 centimeters and move it very high. You can see the effect of the lighting in real time. So this right here looks good enough to me. Before we render the image, we need to go into the Render Properties panel and here select Cycles as our render engine. We are using Cycles since it gives us the most realistic result. Another thing I like to do is to go here under Color Management and set the look to High Contrast. Then just set your resolution here and now it's time to press F12 to render the image. The end. But don't just go yet, uh, as I promised, I'll show you one last tip, and that is how to denoise your render. Sometimes render images look a bit too grainy. Most of the time that happens in areas where there is not enough light. So denoising is a post-processing image procedure that smooths out these grainy areas in your render. In Blender 2.82, you can do it in two ways commonly known method is to go to Output Properties panel and under Post Processing you just check this checkbox. 
But now, I'll show you a different method that is slightly more complicated to set up, but it produces much better results. First, uncheck the noising checkbox and go to View Layer Properties panel and check the noising data. Then, go into Compositing Workspace here and enable the Compositing Node tree here. The Composite node and the Render Layers node should appear. We just need to add the viewer node, like this, and we'll search for the denoise node. Now press F12 to render the image again, and when it's done, connect the nodes just like this. Now every time you render the denoise node, will denoise the image for you. So that is it guys, hope you liked this two video series tutorial, it's a bit different than my usual ones. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more of this kind of videos. And please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be really appreciated. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.